Hello lovelies. Now my question is how often is it too often to post to my page and do a live video? Well I got a bit sidetracked and so I just I had to come and share with you this super cute like how gorgeous is this? I've just whipped this up it's really really simple to do and I wanted to show you a couple of things. So um, I'm using this month's stamp of the month you can do anything and to me, at first when I saw this, it was the focus was really these gorgeous mountains. Love the mountains. And I didn't really notice the other sentiments and everything. But I've used the sentiments on this card. So I've used the love and you can do anything. And I've created this absolutely adorable card um, with a love heart, which I've pieced together. Now I've made another card topper. So again, I've used one of my card toppers and I've used the word friend. And the sentiment here is you matter in this world. And isn't that just, it's just, it, it touches my heart. It really does. And again, I've used this, um, this heart shape. I love hearts, anything to do with hearts. Maybe it's because I've closed my heart. But what you might notice is these shapes here. So they're quarter circles. That's all it is. It's a quarter circle. So there's a quarter circle, quarter circle. And then this one is inverted. So it actually runs on the inside. And then this one here is like that and then exactly the same on the other side so it's really easy to build this um this heart and i've done it on a card because i actually had dies so the national scrapbooking day promotion one of the things in it is the circles and patterns scrapbooking workshop kit which includes this um this pack so it's stamps and dies now the papers here i used were from the um may june mix-ins and i wanted uh like a pinky color and this is flamingo so that's what i've used there but realistically i could have just used any card stock and then used the patterns on here so they are the stamps you can see there hopefully the stamps so lots of different patterns and then these are the dies and all i did was i cut a two inch strip of that pattern paper so as i said you could do two inches with card stock and then very carefully place this die here so it cuts my circles into four perfectly. Pop that one onto the paper and I cut two of these because you need eight pieces and that makes one love heart. So what I wanted to show you though, like I could have all put that in, you know, like a, um, I could have put that in a post and just shown a picture. But what I wanted to show you was how I managed to get it looking like this with the pink around the edge because what I could do is I could just take a card and I could fold it and burnish it. So fold and burnish. And I could pop that straight on the front like that. But it just, to me, doesn't have the same bazing as that. Now, I also didn't want to cut into my Flamingo cardstock and cut a card topper. So I thought I'd show you what I do to give that color and it's also it's it's just really nice this is how i do it all right so i have a versamat that i have cut down versamat or purpose mat or purpose mat one of the two one of the two um i've I cut that down and then i've put it in there i've got my ink here so flamingo i've got everything monotone so it's white and flamingo and then i've got a sponge now these are the cheapest things in the shop sponges and I've cut it into this one looks like I've cut it into six and this is another color that I use but I'm just that's been dry for a while I'm just squeezing there I've got this just let me lift that up a bit like that and I just pounce into the uh, stamp pad and then I go onto my I think it's actually my all-purpose mat and then circles which sometimes some people really don't like that sound and just do circles and circles and circles i'm not going to go too far over this way because i don't want it going onto my desk because as you know i do not like mess so just like this careful around the corners my first card i did almost ruin the corner and it gives this gorgeous effect so for those of you who are not card makers but maybe you're scrapbookers this can be created, the little, the love heart, let me bring that into view, that love heart could be created and popped onto a scrapbooking page even. And you could do this on your scrapbooking page to give a really nice outline of your page. So give it a real, 
beautiful definition or you could use it on photo mats um, or any element of your page really and it just gives that beautiful mottled look I'm just going to pop the lid on that so I don't stick my hand in there and then when I'm ready and I won't finish the whole thing on camera I can then stick that onto the front and I've got a really pretty border there so there you have it my friends gorgeous cards using the stamp of the month and using the sentiments friend and love and I love like they just oh they're so nice I just got really excited using these die cuts um, which as I mentioned they're available during the national scrapbooking day yes so these are the national scrapbooking day special and then there's a national scrapbooking month which is a paper suite um, and that's in the catalog so national scrapbooking day special these are the circle circles and patterns scrapbooking workshop kit that's what it comes in you can't buy these separately you do have to buy the full kit but trust me it is worth it all right thank you again so much for watching i hope that i have shared something that has inspired you um as always stay safe keep crafting and bye for now